Why do more young people like Bernie Sanders? Most of the answers here don't answer why young people, specifically, support him, just general reasons why people support him. In terms of younger people, he's one of the few older politicians who will admit how screwed over millennials and Gen Z were are in terms of cost of education and housing, as well as wages not reflecting those increases. Because he's consistent. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties, 10s. Every decade, same stance. Citizens' rights all the way down the line. No other active politician can match his long-time integrity. He's a real one. Bernie Sanders proposes a lot of significant changes. Significant changes threaten the status quo, and the older you get, the more you have to lose by the status quo changing. I'm a boomer, so maybe I shouldn't answer. People like Bernie because he actually cares about regular people, not the rich and corporate donors. He's been fighting for economic and social justice since he was in college, and will continue to do so until he takes his last breath. He's the genuine article, and not a fake. Seems like he actually wants to address the pressing issues facing Americans and not just megacorps. I'll be honest when he was first running for president I kinda ignored him because I figured he would be too old and out of touch to what the younger generations want but now I look at the kinds of policies he proposes and I wish I had voted for him. Also, he always shows up. He has really fought for his state and Vermont is better for it. But he's also always involved in the Senate. Everyone knows him because he always shows up. There are a lot of politicians that I have never heard of. Forget the socialism, policies, or other political leanings. This old man speaks the truth and understands the real economic struggles we are facing. Very few politicians do this. Young people are, in general, more aligned with left-wing policies. This is true in most countries, not just the US. He's one of only a tiny handful of US politicians at the federal level who calls out the actual problem with our country in an unvarnished way that corporations and billionaires are the ones fucking us over at every turn. Older generations don't like him because socialism bad. Younger people are, thankfully, not so hung up. Sanders is the closest thing US politics has to a left wing and many young people see left wing politics as a way to disrupt the current system that isn't working for them because his political beliefs give them the potential to have a future. Unlike the others who want to burn the planet for money. An important formative experience in the lives of many young millennials and Zoomers was watching financial institutions wreck the economy with reckless financial practices in 2008 subprime mortgage crisis, get bailed out with taxpayer money, with almost none of them facing any real consequences, all the while ordinary working people had to deal with the consequences. That left an impression. Young people grew up seeing a broken system, and thus want to see significant change. Game recognizes game. Because his policies benefit people instead of just shareholders and most young people don't own any much stock but they have a lot of life left to live. Because young people are less likely to believe in Cold War era conservative politics. They are living with the long-term consequences of it. They are less likely to be sold an appeal to American exceptionalism or a red scare. I also think a lot of Bernie's policies are on par with the rest of the industry allyized countries and young people are the ones that experience the smaller globe than older folks. It's easier for young people to see what works elsewhere and push for us to have the same. I'm 42 and I love any politician that doesn't take corporate money. BC he speaks to them about low wages, climate change, runaway inflation on health care and college costs, and student loan relief. Progressive thinking. Young people are very liberal and progressive. So is Bernie Sanders. He's pro-choice, an ally to the LGBTQ community, a supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement, and he is about equality for all and about sharing wealth equally as well. He is a socialist and that is actually a positive thing. Maybe because he is honest. I love his character. The fact that he has supported black lives his entire life, pushing for social equity, shows me that he is a genuine guy. 
I think compared to all of the other nominees I've seen, he has the most consistent strength of character. I respect that. Because he's tackling young people issues like global warming and rising costs of housing, education, etc. We see and feel the direct pains of capitalism and he's the only one with a realistic chance of getting us out. Young people are poorer than people in other age demographics. They are more likely to be open to new ideas. And they are less likely to be put off by the word socialism because they weren't alive during the Cold War. He's the Snoop Dogg if American politics. He's consistent on his political beliefs, he stands by his political views, and his original, as in his views in politics is different than even his own party at times. Gotta respect a person like that. Because he's an activist and truly believes in helping and bettering society. Younger people didn't experience the Red Scare propaganda like older generations did, they've just been left with whispers of it. A young person will more likely know healthcare isn't evil communism that is sinful and against God, but is just a normal policy. They haven't been conditioned as much as the older generations who grew up during the Red Scare. He is not like other career politicians. He always held true to his beliefs, whereas people like Biden or even Obama just say shit they think would get them elected. They have no real beliefs or principles, Bernie does. Because he is fucking awesome he is honest and actually gives a shit. By the way I'm 55. As Jen Z, I've seen photos of him during the civil rights movement and gay rights movement. I don't see any other politician as consistent as he has been. Aging millennial here absolutely love that Bernard. He's the only politician I know with real integrity. Not a shill, or sellout. Has been fighting for human and environmental rights his whole career. Closest thing to an ideal representative as I can think of. There's much deeper levels to this, but a big part of it is most of us I'm 28 can count on our fingers the number of genuine politicians in our lives that seem to work more for the people than partisan brick walling. Because young people are less likely to be Nazis. Because politics grandpa actually gives a shit about people. Because young people want public services and living wages. Because his policies actually make sense for everyday citizens and young people of voting age are more open-minded from growing up in the early days of the internet before everything became misinformation echo chambers. And he has a pretty fucking strong track record of being a good stand-up guy. He doesn't flip-flop every other day for votes. He's a genuine ass dude. He's a human running for office not a robot. He's genuine. I like some of his points but don't agree with all but to be honest, he that's a relatable trait. I'm not young but I get it. Because society is a pendulum. Democratic socialism isn't new. Les Trent glory use, google it. Every major system is flawed, and nothing can solve all of society's problems. But when a system thrives, it runs into limits, and when those limits get pushed, a groundswell of new opinions develop from frustrations with the socio econo polysphere. Consistently a good person and not a lying double dealer like most politicians. He's one of the only geezers in the government that's looking more than five seconds ahead in terms of policy change and focuses his platform on fixing issues that help everyone, but specifically help young people gain upward mobility. His track record is also incredibly clean consistent. He's been fighting for the same things his entire career, not flip-flopping. If you're a young person and your entire life you were taught to share, to help those in need and less fortunate than you, to not be greedy and to be empathetic to you grow up and are met with the American federal very confusing. Sanders, despite all the mud people sling at him, has beliefs that are compatible with basic morality and so of course what he's talking about resonates well with young people. As people get older they have more to lose by changing things and this biases them against common sense policies driven by morality. I will say Bernie is about the most honest political figure alive agree with him or not he will state his position and stick to it. Off the top of my head I can't think of a time he has ever flip-flopped. I don't align with all his positions but I truly admire his grit. I'm not young and I love Bernie.
I don't agree with many of his political views, but he is surely a man and an American to be admired. He puts his money where his mouth is and pays the consequences for what he believes in. He is a man I'd be proud to call Mr. President and I believe that he would fight for all Americans, even those with opposing views.